Hello people of YouTube, my name is Brad. This is my channel, Adamant Orange, and this week in 3D Metal Model News. There's something new on Fascination's website today. After several weeks of staring at the Game of Thrones models and wondering when they're going to come out, unfortunately I don't have any new news as far as the Games of Thrones models, but I do have some new models showing up. We have some Old West style models. We have the Old West 260 locomotive, the Old West wagon, an Old West Gatling, Gatlin gun, and an Old West revolver. And I can't help to think in the back of my head, I wonder if this Old West themed stuff was at least in part inspired by the somewhat recent Red Dead Redemption 2 models that came out, because that's the first thing I thought of when I saw these models. Anyway, they're all in color. color. They all have Metal Earth model numbers, so they're not Iconics models. And they look really cool. I'm kind of excited about this. I didn't know they were doing any Old West style stuff. And I haven't grabbed the Red Dead Redemption stuff, which is what I can tell selling out, unfortunately. But there's still a chance to get some really neat Old West type models coming up very soon. And also in my poking around, I noticed on crazytoys.co.uk on their website, they have updated some of their news articles. And one of the things that they updated was a piece about the upcoming Transformers, MU Transformers models, which I talked about previous in my previous video. The Wheeljack and the mini cassette models are coming up and they've post, basically posted the same pictures that I've already talked about and that they're coming. But they've also posted on their website about this really interesting horse, this war horse from Picture Kingdom. And I don't think Picture Kingdom releases models very often. I've built a Picture Kingdom model. They are pretty good. The metal's a little bit different. And if you notice in this picture, a lot of the pieces have thinned out metal where it has like little holes in it. So the metal's a little more delicate to work with, but they do make really nice models. And this one is what appears to be gold and silver. Don't know when it's coming, but that's something coming soon. So keep an eye out for that. And that looks very interesting. Don't know what the size of it. The size of it makes it look rather large, but there's no further details given, and there's nothing really in the picture to compare it to. So I'm not sure if it's going to be a largish model or a smallish model, but given Picture Kingdom's usual models, it should be of decent size, a little bit more than Metal Earth size. Something else really big and interesting is happening right now. If you haven't already heard, I've talked about Timeform Machine before, and I did build one of their Marvel tank models. I had some trouble with it, and I blame myself. I've said that repeatedly. They have been showing pictures of some new models on their Instagram and they've mentioned doing a Kickstarter. Well, now their Kickstarter, they're doing another Kickstarter, is now live. You can go to time for machines website and right now it's popping up with a link to their Kickstarter or check in the description down below because I will be including links to the things I talk about, including the Kickstarter for the time for machines models. They are metal models, which if you're watching this video, you're already into metal models, assumedly. They are thicker metal tougher metal, a bit more artistic, and they're mechanical. They're really awesome. Now, if you thought about getting these models before, price may have been a, a prohibiting factor because they are expensive. You go to the website with their current models, some of which are really sold out right now, they're right at 100 bucks in US dollars. But they're bigger, thicker, and, and tougher models, mechanical models, and they come with tools. It's really, really top-notch product. However, with this Kickstarter, you have an opportunity to get in at a lower price. If you look at the Kickstarter, there's a lot of different options, a lot of different tiers that you can contribute at, along with just no reward tiers. There are a lot of rewards available. Basically, you can buy all these models. You can put your name out to get it, reserve it ahead of time for a reduced price. And there's so much information. I, I'm going to try and talk about it a little bit, but I really I won't have the time to go really detailed into it. But they've got... The Marvel Tank 2, which it looks like they've kind of redesigned it or reworked a little bit. And they've got a second version that they're selling. It looks like they also have a Mysterious Timer 2 so and a Glorious Cabrio 2. So it looks like they may have gone back and reworked some of the original models. I don't know exactly how. And I'm very curious to find out. It's very exciting. They've reworked them. But they've also introduced the Dazzling Steamliner, which is this really cool-looking like steampunk, diesel-punk tank not tank, excuse me, train, locomotive train. They've introduced the Heavenly Hercules, which is a multi-propeller, what is it, eight propeller flying airplane, obviously flying, it's an airplane, really stylish looking. They've got a hot tractor, which I believe is also new. 
Perfecto card case. I'm not sure if that's new or not. It's a very simple little model, just decorative little thing that's easy to put together. You can put business cards in. The Royal Voyager, I think they've had before, but I'm not certain. The Marvel Tank, the Curious Cabrio, Mysterious Timer from before. The Silver Bullet is in the list. I think that's new, but I'm not really sure. They've revamped, revamped some of the old stuff. They've brought in some new stuff. You can make pledges basically to get rewarded with individual models, or you can make pledges to get multiple models. They have so many different tiers. I'll go through them real quick. They have the Perf Perfecto card case for $18, the Hot Tractor for $32, Mysterious Timer 2 for $42, the Silver Bullet for $42, the Glorious Cabrio for $46, the Marvel Tank for $49, Royal Voyager for $56. These are all US dollars. The Heavenly Hercules for $84. The Dazzling Steamliner for $112. And then you can get sets. They have the auto set, which comes with the Royal Voyager, the Glorious Cabrio, and the Silver Bullet. The double set comes with the Heavenly Hercules and the Dazzling, Dazzling Steamliner. There's an early bird silver double set with the Heavenly Hercules, Dazzling Steamliner, and Silver Bullet at this moment. That one is still open, it's $199. So you're getting a nice discount on the discount. Already discounted prices if you were to get it now as opposed to getting it after the Kickstarter. They have all vehicle set, which comes with all of the vehicles. They have a Hercules mono set, which has the silver bullet, the tank, the Grand Voyager, and the Heavenly Hercules, and so on and so forth. I mean, really, there's just too much for me to go all the way through check out their website if you're interested in these models and price has been a prohibiting factor check them out because now you can get in at a lower price but one thing i will say is they have a full set early bird for 408 dollars that one i think is already filled sold out they don't have enough so they, they do still have a full set but it's now up to 432 which is still a good price compared to the rest these are awesomely detailed very well thought out models and they've made improvements and if you look, I just read off of a list, a compilation list, basically, of all of them. If you look independently, these models come not just with the model, but with the free tools, which I've, I've already mentioned that, paper instructions, and now apparently a video guide of how to assemble, which they didn't have before, and, for, and, and beautiful package. So, you know, all of this they had before, the beautiful package, the tools already came with it. It already came with a pretty well-detailed paper instructions, but now it's coming with a video how to assembly. So really they've, they've stepped up. They're already awesome game. They're offering this on Kickstarter. Get in now, reserve your models, whatever you want, and get that lower price before the Kickstarter ends. I think you've got about a month at this point before it ends and jump on. Some of these tiers are limited. So jump on them as soon as you can if you're interested before they run out and get this stuff now while you can get it at a cheaper price. That's my suggestion. If you're interested, now's the time to jump on board. They're really awesome. I've already said it. There's links in the description down below so you can find this stuff a little bit easier on your own. And just to add, like I took, for example, you've got the different models independently and then you've got the sets. The auto set, if you were to get the Royal Voyager, the Glorious Cabrio 2, and the Silver Bullet, if you were pledged independently, it comes up to $144. But if you get the auto set, which includes all of those together, you get it for $137. So a slight discount, but that's a discount on top of the already discounted because these models, the, the Glorious Cabrio 2, the original Glorious Cabrio right now on their website is $100. The reduced price is already, you know, the, the Kickstarter for the second one is already a reduced price and getting it as a set reduces it even more. So keep that in mind. Do the math yourself, check it out. These are really awesome. I wanted to mention that. If I could keep going on, but I think you get the point. And I'm not really seeing any new models on AliExpress, checking all my favorite stores, but one thing I am seeing is AliExpress is doing an anniversary sale right now. And it depends on the store whether or not they're participating. I did a check of a lot of the stores that I look at, and it looks as if Magical Model Store is participating in the anniversary sale, as well as the Funny Model Store is participating and the New York Model Store is participating. And I've got links to those independent stores in my description down below. They've got a page that has a variety of different 3D metal models from Peace Cool to MU to Micro World. There may even be a Picture Kingdom mixed in there somewhere, I'm not certain, anywhere from you know, 10, 15% off all the way up to 50 some percent off. It just depends on the model. The street store may be a little bit different. 
Crazy Toys doesn't seem to be participating in the anniversary sale. I didn't see anything on their site, but they do have like a 5% off some models. So that's something to check out as well. Crazy Toys does have a pretty good reputation for getting their models out nice and neat and fairly quickly. I believe I've ordered from Magical Models before and they turned out pretty good. And I think I've heard of good stories from Funny Models and New York Models. There's some just definitely some really good sales to take advantage of. Go to AliExpress, go to those independent sites yourself in the there are links in the description down below to check out and see if there's something that you've been wanting to grab that you can save a few dollars on. Moving on to the question of the week this week. This question comes from Trick Trip McNeely. Anyone know if that is a specialty toolkit you can buy specifically for the Metal Earth models? Are there any specialty toolkits to buy for Metal Earth models? That is unfortunately somewhat of a loaded question. There aren't really any specific toolkits except for sort of maybe the Fascination sells a three-piece tool set that has a flat nose, a long nose, pliers set. has flat nose pliers, long nose pliers, and clippers. And they're very useful, but I would not consider it a complete set. A very basic set in my mind would include some precision tweezers. Can't really say I know of any set that includes precision tweezers. Now, uh, your Toy Mart used to sell a set that would include most of what you need. Unfortunately, your Toy Mart is not doing business right now, hoping things are going well and they will be back eventually. But as right now, you still pretty much have to piece things together. I myself have worked on some 3D printed tools and do have an Etsy page that sells some tools for shaping cylindrical and cone and dome shaped, and I find them very handy. I know a few other people have found them handy as well. Precision tweezers are very helpful. I usually recommend a Pixnor set of precision tweezers from Amazon. I've got that set. I've been using them extensively. Now the set comes with about seven different tweezers and you don't really need all of those. I gave some of them away in a, con in a, in a giveaway quite some time back. I only held on to three. And I took one of the precision tipped ones and ground it down slightly to make a better grabby tool. That's what I do. You can use uh, regular tweezers, Iconix sets oftentimes come with a tweezer set that are wonderful. They're not good for getting in small places, but they're good for a lot of things. And I keep one in my usual set a width of precision tweezers. Something to shape the shapes with, cone shapes and dome shapes. There's some dome and cone shaping type metal tools that you can get on some of the AliExpress model shop stores that some people have used and helped there to help build their models. There is a one tool that I've tried to 3D print and design, but it hasn't worked out. But you can buy a metal version on the uh, AliExpress stores. It's basically a, an edge bender. It's a metal rod with a slit in it that you can slide over and bend things. I have found jewelry tools to be useful for some things. Round nose pliers can be helpful for making small curves. A cheap drill bit set can be useful for shaping cylindrical shapes. Cone shapes, you can use a pencil or use a pencil sharpener to sharpen a dowel rod for a cheap solution for getting some cone shapes. So really there isn't one right now that I know of. There's not one complete or fairly complete set that's gonna cover all of your bases for sale out there. There are a few things that you can piece together out of other kits to get yourself going. You could get the Fascinations Toolkit with the long nose pliers, flat nose pliers, and the cutters. That'll last you a while. I've ended up breaking my clippers in that set after a couple of years, but I built a lot of models. I wore the long nose pliers out and had to replace them after about three years, but I built a lot of models. You can take that set, buy a set of precision tweezers and maybe some drill bits and a dowel rod to sharpen, and you have a pretty good starter set there, but you're still gonna have to piece a few things together. And I've got several tool videos that I need to probably update, but not much has changed other than the 3D printed tools that I've designed. But yeah, there's, there's that one complete easy set that I know of that you can grab. And I do know, also I should add, there are some interesting tools available from Peace Cool through AliExpress that I haven't tried myself that I'd like to that are good for grabbing and bending small parts. But I've heard the downsides is they're not so great for people with big hands because they're small tools. But one of these days I'd like to give them a try and kind of review them myself. But yeah, there's not one complete set that you can buy for building Metal Earth models. You're gonna still have to piece some stuff together yourself. And that's it for this week's 3D Metal Model News. Thank you for watching. And of course, thank you to my Patreon supporters for supporting this channel, making it easier for me to make these review videos, build videos, and news videos that I do. If you enjoy these videos, consider becoming a Patreon supporter. A little bit goes a long way. 
Thank you for watching, and as always, keep on keeping on.